do you agree that there is energy in a gummy bear? Do these look kind of yummy to you? What kind of energy is in the gummy bear? Let's, let's take some notes. Let's, let's think about this and, and write down some information about gummy bear energy. First of all, how there's actually a way that you can look at a gummy bear or you can look at your package of gummy bears oh, like, like this, and you can actually find out how many calories are in a gummy bear. However, we're going to be talking about a normal size little gummy bear. What? Look at this thing. This is for real. That's a real uh, something you can buy. It's this gigantic gummy bear. What? That thing's crazy. Um, look at it. I mean, really, <laughs> we're not going to be killing that kind of gummy bear. Do you agree that the gummy bear contains energy and we can measure the energy in calories? So let's define what a calorie is exactly is. One normal size gummy bear, not that jumbo thing, contains nine calories of energy. And if you had to guess what kind of energy is it, it's stored chemical energy. Okay, it's the energy inside that gummy bear is stored in its chemical bonds. I tell you that it's nine calories. What the heck is a calorie? Okay, of course we have a definition for this. One calorie is the amount of energy. Okay, we just are using the word energy to define our energy. It's basically a unit of energy. It's the amount of energy required to heat one milliliter of water, one degree Celsius. So imagine a milliliter of water. It's a little cube of water. And one calorie of energy is the amount of energy required to heat that water one degree Celsius. But, and you might think, oh, well, there's nine calories, so we could actually heat one milliliter of water nine degrees Celsius. Right? That's, that's what a calorie is. Well, check it out. I actually uh, did something on purpose here. A lowercase c calorie is this definition. A uppercase capital letter C calorie is actually, you're not going to believe this, this is actually a kilocalorie. What? What's a kilocalorie? It's one thousand baby calories. Whoa, so nine kilo, oh, there's lots of ways you could think about this. We could heat our little cube of water with nine kilocalories. We could actually heat that little cube of water nine thousand degrees Celsius. Does that, like, hurt your brain? Did you know that there's that much energy inside a single gummy bear? A baby gummy bear, not that huge thing. That's shocking to me. Once you know what a calorie is, we can actually look at, okay, how much energy is that? We, I can tell you that you're going to release all that energy. You're going to use it to do your thing if you eat that gummy bear. But we're going to do a demonstration in lab, I mean in lecture, where you are going to get to release. No, I will release the energy in that gummy bear and show it to you. Now, I'm actually linking a video of some professor at MIT doing the exact same demonstration so that all you YouTubers out there, you guys can go out and actually watch the whole thing even if you don't get to see me do it. And I'll tell you right now, this it's phenomenal. You will be shocked at how much energy there is inside that gummy bear. And we're going to turn the energy from the, our nine calories. We're going to take the nine calories of gummy bear and through magic of chemistry and your body, we're going to take that and we're going to turn it into light energy, heat energy, and there's even sound energy. Sound is an example of mechanical energy because it's actually making 
um, air molecules move and bounce up against your eardrum. So all of the energy, the nine calories, kilocalories, found inside the gummy bear are going to be turned into light, heat, and sound. If you want a preview and see what you are going to witness in lecture, you are welcome to go and, and look at the next lecture because it's not me doing it. Those are not my fingernails in that next video. Uh, but you can check it out. Okay, now we're going to talk about the energy actually in the chemical bonds and, and basically what is energy in chemical bonds.